week's chapter of Bleach, Namaya Oetsu takes us back to a gangster's paradise and we get a big old fat hot tub filled with boiling blood. This was an exciting chapter of Bleach for a number of reasons. One, I'm actually genuinely surprised that Naklavar was taken out so quickly in this week's chapter. They have been building up this dude so much since the beginning of this massive invasion arc. And I do like the fact that his powers are really interesting. I just wanted to see him do a little bit more. However, Namaya Oetsu is definitely one of the most surprising members of Zero Division thus far. I thought he was going to be one of the one members of the group who wasn't going to do much, he was going to be very soft-spoken, and he was going to be in the background most of the time. He's the one who has taken motherfuckers out in every single chapter. He's already taken out four dudes, including Naklavar, just in the last two chapters, and that really speaks volumes for his powers. So, let's talk about Naklavar. So, he has this ability where he's able to manipulate the blood in people's bodies, and he's also able to manipulate the substances and sort of, like, change the lethal dose that's inside their bodies. So, what he does is he affects Namaya in a way where his body is constantly filling up with this lethal blood, and he figures, well, the only way to get rid of this is to cut himself up. So, he continuously is cutting his neck, his face, all over. So, he's covered in scratches, and he's bleeding all over the place. But even still... There's another risk here. Even though he's getting rid of the blood, he's also losing a lot of that, and he could die just from that as well. Luckily, if you guys remember, all those chapters ago, they explained that Tenjiro had the ability with his weird hot springs to actually draw out people's blood and replace it with something brand new. So we all knew at this point that Naklavar was going to be defeated. However, he did get to reveal his actual badass little uh, like arrow that he actually pulls from his watch. It's very James Bond-like, and it's very cool. But Namaya just cuts him up. It's one of those like stereotypical shots where the two samurai go at each other, they stand for a second, and one of them just falls over. And that's pretty much the end of the chapter, except that the Quincy leader is getting ready to finally go in and kick some ass, and that's not even breaking down Namaya's composure whatsoever. He is really ready to get into the battle with the Quincy leader. And as much as I want him to win, he's probably not going to, but hopefully now that we suddenly saw that massive wave from the uh, Hot Springs, maybe that means that, uh, you know, he's going to come back, Karinji's going to jump in, all of Zero Division is going to start teaming up and fighting against the Quincy leader, and that's pretty much it this week. Very simple, very effective, and... What I really loved about it is that it started out really confusing, especially with the explanation of Naklavar's power. Hell, even himself, he said that, yeah, this is probably pretty confusing, but you're about to die anyway, so that's pretty much that. Otherwise, I thought this was a really exciting chapter. So what's the rundown? on this week's chapter of Bleach. Very good, very simple, pretty typical for Bleach. The artwork this week was uh, very nice, especially just all the expressions from Namaya. Even though he's in a really sticky situation, he still seems to almost be enjoying himself in this battle, almost in a way that, like, Zero Division has been, like, in this weird dimension for so long that they've actually been out of action and commission that when they're finally starting to get into the battle, they're actually kind of getting excited for that, and I think that's really cool, and it definitely shows through in the artwork this week. Naklavar himself... Still kind of disappointed over the fact that he was killed so easily. However, this is a weekly manga series. There's always that weird, creepy suspicion that in ne next week's chapter, he's just going to pop up like a freaking zombie out of nowhere. Especially with the fact that his whole, like, abilities have to deal with him changing the lethal doses of blood and stuff in his body. Who's to say that he can't manipulate something again and is able to survive these events? However, that's sort of up in the air at the moment. I imagine the Quincy leader is going to get in there. But considering that something so important like the Quincy leader showing up is about to happen... They're probably going to cut away to something else. I I'd imagine they're probably going to go to Ichigo and their group as they're making their way up to the uh, Soul King's Palace. Or they might even go to another battle that's going on with the other Quincy members because there's a million little things going on in this arc right now. What I will say is, Namaya Oetsu was one of my least favorite members of Zero Division at the beginning of this arc. He's slowly but surely starting to become one of my favorites, mostly for his personality, his hilarious look... And the fact that he's not really relying, like, on, on any, like, crazy abilities or anything. And that's, like, the focus of Bleach. Everybody has, like, their special powers and, the, like, swords that transform into crazy shit. He's just using a sword, acting like a badass, and just winning every fight. He's not even activating anything special. So, and it makes sense. He's the creator of Zonpok Toe. He could probably do whatever the hell he wants. But just the fact that he doesn't need to, that makes him a really impressive character. So just on the technical side of things this week, the story was simple, but it was good. A little heavy-handed on the explanation of Naklavar's power. The action scenes were really well done. There was some really great artwork and character artwork. Lots of blood, lots of action. 
Check it out, Bleach fans. I'm giving this week's chapter a 4 out of 5. Nearly perfect. I just wanted a little bit more to happen and a little bit more from Naklavar himself. However, I'm wholly satisfied. This was just a badass chapter. So check it out, Bleach fans. 4 out of 5. Thank you guys for watching my review. If you like this video, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Before you guys leave, please tell me what you thought about this week's chapter of Bleach. What did you think of the battle between Naklavar and Namaya Oetsu? Before you guys leave, go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you have not already. You can do that by clicking on the channel icon, which is in the top corner right over here. You guys can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter.